people welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here in this video i'm actually taking you guys through my first experience at kcon la i actually was invited by the k collection to visit their convention center it was such a cool and fun experience so i wanted to share it with you guys if you guys don't know what kcon is it is an annual event that celebrates korean pop culture entertainment beauty etc it consists of two main events the convention itself and the concert the convention takes place at the west hall of the la convention center and this year it took place from august 18 to the 20th so the convention lasts for three days from 10 a.m to 6 p.m and it consists of k collection booths promoting korean brands workshops meet and greets and even surprise performances from idols i even got to see and meet some k-pop groups which was really really cool the actual concert portion starts from 8 p.m. at the crypto.com arena hall. If you just want to visit the convention itself, it's around $30 per day. But if you already purchased a concert ticket, then whatever day you're attending that concert, you can also attend the convention. So as I mentioned, it was my first time going and it was kind of a hectic experience just because I was trying to immerse myself in all of the things at once. I visited a couple of workshops, explored all of the different booths that had like different types of Korean skincare, foods, etc. Some of the booths also gave out free samples as well and i'm gonna have a haul at the end of this video there were so many people and there were also like concerts and interviews going on with idols and stuff like that so it might be a little bit hectic and chaotic but i hope you guys enjoy without further ado let's get into the vlog Good morning friends, so today is convention day. I'm gonna spend the whole day at the convention just filming and checking out the boots But I'm super excited because it's my first time I'm gonna be using this mic when I'm there because it's probably gonna be super loud Patrick is also gonna help me film and I'm super excited I think I'm gonna check out some workshops first because Nina and Amanda are doing some workshops So hopefully we can get in and get seated, but I'll see you guys inside It's so cool, there's so much. Okay guys, we just got the passes and I'm gonna try to go to Amanda's workshop if it's not too busy. There's more stickers and markers and colors at the other tables. You win for the title so far. But John Howe, like, he's just so cool. I love stickers. Can, I, oh, yeah. can Do you want get any? Yeah, of course. Okay. I grew up in Kaytown, LA. Oh, yeah. Really? Uh -huh. Guys, we're going to just decorate fans today. It's like the more traditional East Asian folded fan. Inside the list, inside the list. Kristina, 안녕하세요, Kristina. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Thank you. you I'm getting I'm in fear. Oh, so cute. I love it. This is Patrick's fan that he made. So cute. Grace? Thank you. Oh. Thank you. Got some Okonomi fries. Blue soda. It's my manager for the day. Okay guys, we are back inside the convention center. <laughs> Just finished up with the workshops and had a quick bite. But hopefully this mic is helping a little bit. So we are at the convention now. It's so big, it's my first time so it's super cool. But we're gonna go check out some of the booths now so I'm super excited. Okay, I'm going to the first booth. Hydrating one, and then this is brightening, concentrates on certain ingredients. Moisturizers. We also have a cleanser. It's very moisturizing. Ooh, feels really nice. 
not actually for sunscreen. The sun is very strong, so you need like an extra protection. I want to eat this. That looks so yummy. I think they're showing like recipes that you can make with the sauce. She's seasoning. Oh, kimchi almonds. Do you like it? Have you tried it? I tried it actually. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, it, it tastes like double tea. And we also sell this on uh, Amazon. Oh, okay. Oh, they have snacks too. Find them on H Mart. H Mart. I'm gonna taste test it when I get home. We're going to the next booth. popular one too. Oh, it's like a solo. <laughs> so this is the next food. I think it's like an accessory brand. <laughs> Hairpins and then like anklets and I think earrings are really popular. This is so cute. It reminds me of Korea. <laughs> Specialize in the flowers and the candles. Oh, it smells so good. This one is like peaches and strawberries. So they first started selling in Japan and Singapore, and they make this in Korea, like handmade. And now they're trying to come to the U.S. this like zero waste campaign going on because their plastic is recyclable plastic. Okay. This one's regular tteokbokki. This one's jajang, which is like soy bean sauce. It's cheese flavor and this is the halal spicy flavor. It's very yummy. Okay, I'm done with convention for the day. I'll see you guys later at home to do a review of everything I got. Thank you, Pats, for being my staff for the day. <laughs> okay, guys, I am back with a little outro for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed that vlog of the convention. Now, I'm just going to be giving you guys a little haul of the products that I received from the brands. As you guys saw, I visited 10 different K collection booths, and all of them had different types of products from South Korea. They were all super, super sweet and just explained all of their products and brands which was really cool a lot of the brands are actually not selling in the u.s right now or are looking into coming into the u.s so it was really cool to hear their stories from the ceos of the brand and just to see which products are coming into the market now so i'm gonna go in the order of whatever i see right in front of me first thing i got was from bbh this is a skincare brand the ceo actually was there and she gave me this brochure to read more about the brand and how they started it so it actually originates from brazil BBH BBH stands for Brazil Beauty and Health in collaboration with Amazon's Natural Ingredients and Korean's K-Beauty Technology. These two are the Propolis Amazon Real Amples made from the ingredients from the Amazon. And then this one is a calming mist. I'm super excited to try these out. Next, we have another Korean skincare brand called Oclearian. We have a couple of samples. Love Korea for their samples. Layered Toner Mist. Sunscreen, which you can never have too much of. Cleared Enzyme Cleanser. The Layered Natural Serum. Serum, and then the layered natural cream super excited to try these out as well Okay, I guess we're just doing all the skincare first This is another skincare and beauty product from this brand called Pom or beauty of majesty They just gave me this leaf extract serum 
this is what it looks like i really really love the packaging they also have different types of products such as makeup cushions and stuff like that next from pnc labs it's in contouring celeb lifting patch in korea i know a lot of celebrities use these types of v-neck lifting patches to make their jawline show more so i'm super excited to try this out they also gave me a hand mask and a c calming toner pad as well this is from cosme lab the brand is called g9 skin they focus on sugar lab daily ample masks for the entire body so we have a full facial mask silky hair mask nose strip mask also really love the pastel colors of all of the packagings next from the nbp i was actually introduced to a really really cool product this is the all-in-one mystic kit they showed me a demo at the booth but it's basically a stick with all of the different necessities you need for makeup so we have the brushes here then if you turn it there are lippies here then next are eyeshadows i believe this one is the blush and then there's also a mirror right here so then you can see it while doing your makeup this is literally perfect for on the go if you're traveling or if you just want to pop it into your purse and do a little touch up so i thought this product was super super cool and then i'm not sure what this is but i think it might be a replacement for the eyeshadows from mix soon this is a minimal beauty brand that contains only the essentials ingredients for the skin i feel like a lot of skincare brands are trying to do this nowadays to remove all of the harmful ingredients in skincare and to focus on only the ones that actually help your skin and also focus on clean beauty which i think is super cool this is the little brochure that they gave me then they also have a little skincare routine mini hongsam essence which is ginseng root it's known to be really really good for your skin and your body and health in general definitely a cool brand to look into actually super excited for this brand it is a candle and scent company this is a brand called Lai Pula and they focus on making natural soy candles they actually hand make each of their candles when I was smelling the scents they actually smell so so good oh it smells so good i got my favorite one i believe this was like the peach and nectar one but as you guys can see it's made in korea and look at how pretty i also got a multi perfume in the scent brunch of rose i love me a cute little stick perfume you just twist it up like this and it's like a little capsule it smells like straight up roses and I love that it's super portable as well. Last but definitely not least, I visited two food booths. First of all, I went to the yopoki booth. My family literally eats these yopokis. I've never tried this flavor before, but I've tried the jajang and the regular tteokbokki. Super, super yummy. Then I went to this really cool one called Soul Sisters where they gave me a sample of this kimchi almonds and then they also gave me the kimchi seasoning mix as well. I believe these are sold on Amazon, but I already tried the almonds and they're really really good i want to use these for my foods as well but yeah i think that is all for my haul really hope you guys enjoyed me introducing these new korean brands to you guys some of them are selling in the u.s or some of them through amazon but it's just really cool to see what brands are up and coming nowadays so i hope you guys found that helpful also if you would like to check out k collections instagram it is here at k collection global and they basically help to collab with all of these brands to come to the convention center for people to get exposure to these brands so super super cool thank you so much to k collection for working with me for this video and i hope you guys enjoyed i will see you guys in the next video bye